my god! <laughs> hey guys, this is Casey here from Evergreen Ethos, coming to you once again from Hasty Hooch Studios, home of the highest production quality on YouTube. And today I wanted to talk about my 2021 uh, spring turkey setup. Got some new gear this year I'm pretty excited about. Front and center here, this is the Mossberg 835 Tactical Turkey. Uh, and I suppose what makes it tactical is it's got the AR-15 style buttstock and the pistol grip. And just for me personally, uh, I prefer the thumb hole stocks on my rifles and pistol grips on my shotguns. Uh, just because I have the most muscle memory with AR-15 style weapon systems. So uh, having that same kind of situation on my shotguns and, and rifles uh, just makes it more comfortable and convenient for me to shoot. But I know Mossberg does make uh, the 835 in some other configurations. So if this isn't your thing, uh, check those out. Uh, this is the, the Mossy Oak Obsession pattern here. Uh, I know they make it in a few other patterns. Uh, I think Bottomland, uh, Black, obviously. Um, so just pick whatever pattern is your preference, uh, depending on the season or geography or whatever. So over here on the stock, you can see it comes with a side saddle holder for extra shells. Uh, I believe this is ambidextrous too. So if you're a left-handed shooter, uh, it's easy to swap it around to the other side. Uh, and it's also got the cheek riser on here. And maybe most importantly, it's got very significant padding here on the back of the buttstock, which really comes in handy if I'm shooting those big three inch, three and a half inch shells. Uh, it doesn't bruise me up so badly. Uh, still does, just not quite as bad. So moving forward up on the gun here, um, the optic that I'm running this year uh, is a, a Sig Sauer Romeo 5. Uh, it's not the most expensive red dot on the market, but they went on sale last winter for a ridiculous price and I decided to just buy one and then find a reason to use it later. And uh, once I was putting this thing together, uh, it seemed like it worked out really well. So um, this one does have the riser on it. So, you know, it's intended to be used on a, like an AR-15 style weapon system and, and co-witness with the iron sights. Uh, but I found that actually having the riser on it works well for this too. Um, with my cheek weld that I get back here, uh, having the additional height actually gives me great sight pictures. So I like how the way that worked out. Um, it does not ship from the factory with the pick rail on there. Uh, so I slapped that on there myself. Um, unfortunately, I installed all that uh, before we started the channel, so I don't have any videos of how to do that, but it's super simple. Uh, I can put a link in the, in the description below for the rail that I got. Um, the, the shotgun's already drilled and tapped for it, so you just pop out the factory screws and then uh, get your slightly longer screws that are gonna come with the pick rail. Uh, make sure you put a little bit of Loctite on them. Uh, if you don't and you're shooting these big three and a half inch shells, uh, you know, best case, you're going to lose zero. Uh, worst case, you're going to lose <laughs> your whole optic, right? So uh, make sure you put a little Loctite on there and then uh, torque it down to 20 inch pounds. So, so I looked that up in the manual and that's what you want to use. Uh, and also, if you don't have a torque wrench for doing that kind of work, I strongly suggest that you get one. It's very important to be using uh, the proper torque settings when you're installing parts on any of your guns. And a disclaimer, I am not a gunsmith by any means, but I can screw some stuff together. All right, so moving up the shotgun here, um, this barrel is not the one it's shipped with from the factory. Uh, what it ships with is this 20 inch smooth bore. And as you can see, it's got fiber optic sights in the back and the front. But please take note that if you put a pick rail on your shotgun, uh, you're not going to be able to co-witness with the fiber optic sights. Uh, you know, and you'd probably be able to see the front one, but I wouldn't trust it for aiming. And then uh, I bought this 24 inch smooth bore, uh, and this one just has the fiber optic sight in the front. And uh, thirdly, I bought uh, over here in the back in black is the 24 inch rifled slug barrel. And this one actually does come with peep sights. But again, uh, if you're using a red dot, you're, you're really not gonna be able to use those. Uh, but what is nice is this one is actually ported. So that's cool. And I do like that this is in black, so it's easy for me to visually distinguish which barrel I have on the gun, so I know what kind of ammo I can shoot with it. And you'll notice I have these awesome uh, Mossy Oak Obsession uh, storage bags for my barrels. 
Those were handmade by my mother and not for sale, but pretty awesome. She did a really good job with those. Um, so from the factory, it also comes with a choke, pretty standard, right? Uh, is very important though. We have capacity restrictions here in Washington, so need to put the, the, the plug in there. Did I say choke? I meant plug. Um, yeah, make sure you have the plug in there if you're hunting so that you're staying within the regulations. But speaking of chokes, it also comes with three chokes from the factory. Um, so this one, this is a 765 unported. This one is a 730 also unported. I actually haven't used either one of these yet, um, but this one's actually really cool. So this one is the Mossberg X-Factor Turkey. Uh, it is ported. This is an Ulta Full. Uh, 695 so I'm I haven't tried this one out yet either I'm pretty pumped about it though and then I did buy one aftermarket choke so this is the Carlson's uh, Longbeard XR this is a 683 uh, also ported and um, you know they say that this is designed to work with this Winchester Longbeard XR ammo so uh, I'm excited to try that out see how well it works um, I've got a couple different loads to test out uh, I've got some three and a half inch number fives, some three inch number sixes, and then up here, um, those are three inch number fives. And I do have a couple boxes of some other uh, sizes that should be here any day now. Um, the, the, the Winchester Longbeard XR is very hard to find right now, uh, unfortunately. I mean, that's kind of all ammo, right? Uh, but, you know, I paid what it costs to get some. Uh, hopefully I don't need a ton of it. Hopefully we just, uh, you know, are able to shoot true and I won't need a whole box of ammo when we're out hunting in a couple weeks. Um, so there was a couple other uh, upgrades that I bought for the shotgun that I haven't installed yet. Uh, the first of which is the NDZ Performance uh, Enhanced Safety Selector. Uh, I think this is the Flat Dark Earth color uh, they have a bunch of different colors on there and i think this is the v2 safety um, they have one that's slightly more narrow uh, but i decided to go with this one and uh you know i'll just slap that right there instead of the factory safety and secondly um, this is the ndz performance uh, magazine follower so uh, very important to have a self-lubricating magazine follower um, I also got this in red so that it's uh, is easy for me to see visually when my magazine is empty. All right, so, um, you know, one thing I didn't like about the shotgun right off the bat was uh, here on the back, you can see that there's quick detach mounts for slings. Uh, also has one on the other side, so it can be ambidextrous. Uh, and then up front here, you know, it's just got the regular swivel stud. So um, it's kind of irritating to have two different connections for your sling, uh, but that's also easy to fix. So I just bought this, um, this adapter here. So this is just a QD to sling swivel adapter. So it still functions a lot like, like a QD. You know, I can take this on and off pretty easily, but it just converts it to a swivel stud. And, uh, you know, I haven't decided if I'm going to use the sling while I'm out hunting, um, but it's nice to have nevertheless. Um, you know, I use it for some other things too. Um, the sling that I went with, uh, this is the Allen, what do they call this? Um, Hypolite Shocker Turkey Shotgun Sling. Um, so it's got a couple extra shell holders here. Probably not going to use those because I got the side saddle at the bottom. Uh, and then here in this little flat, they've got a, a space for a couple different mouth calls. So I'm probably not going to use those either, um, to be honest with you. Uh, I've got what I like to call the world's worst gag reflex. So, um, you know, unless there's animals that are attracted to the sound of a human vomiting, uh, it's probably not going to work out for me. So um, that's everything with the shotgun itself. Uh, one other thing that I picked up for it is uh i got this case here so also from alan which i like because that also happens to be my last name uh, so i know whose stuff it is um so this is also from their shocker series um they make bags that you know are kind of purpose built for different kinds of hunting uh, this happens to be their turkey setup so uh, in this rear pouch here they've got a spot to put your chokes uh, up at the top and then down here at the bottom they've got a spot for more mouth calls 
And then over here is a spot to put your box call and then a couple long skinny finger pockets for your strikers, I presume. And then uh, up here in the front pouch, a couple spots to put your slate calls. So that's pretty nice. Uh, it's cool to, to be able to kind of have it all organized in here. Um, you know, I'm not sure how much sense it makes because for me personally, I carry most of that stuff inside of my turkey vest. Um, so I don't know why I would transport it in the bag when I'm just gonna throw it into my vest anyways. But one other thing that I thought was kind of cool, uh, this is kind of gimmicky, but fun. Uh, it's got this little ruler right here that can, that you can use to, you know, measure your, your spurs and your beards and then, you know, brag to your friends about which one's bigger, right? So that's kind of funny. Um, the next step here for me is I'm going to install these upgrades from NDZ and then I'm going to take it out and do some patterning. So uh, I've got some turkey targets here. Uh, if you're watching this, you probably already know how this works. Uh, I'm going to make sure the, the gun's on zero. Once it is, I'm going to slap a couple of these up and I'm going to do some testing of probably this, this Mossberg uh, Ultifol and then the Carlson's Chokes with the couple different loads that I have. And I'm just going to see how many pellets I can get in the kill zone here. 